Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're looking at George Springer's swing. Uh, Springer has kind of quickly become one of my favorite players uh, throughout the playoffs and World Series last year. Um, the energy he plays with, and then I just really love his swing. So we're going to go over his swing mechanics, talk about some of the things that I see. Um, let me know what you guys see as well. Everyone seems to see the swing a little bit differently, and so if you follow our channel um, before, you kind of know some of the main principles that I really believe in, but I'd like to hear what you guys see and, and your opinion of his swing as well. So let's kind of get into th the things that I see when I watch him swing, what I think helps him you know, be successful, and some of the things that we can take out of his swing and hopefully help all of you guys out there. So first thing you'll see... Um, you know, he's got a little bit of a leg kick and, you know, one of the first things that I look at is, you know, when players kind of lift their leg and start to move, you start to see how he gets into that back hip. So he'll pick his front foot up and you can see his butt kind of gets out there. His chest starts to get over. He gets in good posture and he's really getting around that back leg into that back hip as he begins to move. And you'll see almost every player, you know, if you look at their spine angle, they start to get over the plate as they kind of pick up that front leg and start to move into the ball a little bit. As he's making his move forward, you're going to see that he gets a little bit of a pullback with his upper body. So his hands are not going with him but instead he's pulling back. So we've talked a lot before about this pullback action, how you know we're trying to use our scap and we're trying to pull back so that we can have some resistance against this forward move and then as our um, body starts to turn. And so with most really good hitters, you're going to see this action where, you know, if you look at the back hip hair and the upper body, look at the hands. There's going to be this separation of those two. And so again, it's pull back as we move into the ball. And then as the lower body starts to turn here, you can see how, again, the hands still haven't come forward, even at this point. And now they're going to start to turn. But if you look at that distance from hands to back hip, you're going to see that move right here. Really, really important to allow the body to work in the right sequence and to really be ground up and, um, you know, allowing the, the entire body to really be incorporated in the swing. So as he pulls back, moves into the ball... Now he's going to start to turn right here. A couple of interesting things. First, you know, if you look at his lower body, it's not stride, land, and then rotate. But as he's coming into the ground, he's starting to turn. So let's get this. Oh, let me fix this again right there. So it's not stride forward, shift into his front leg, and then hit. But he's really kind of swinging his leg, his front foot, his stride foot down into the ground. And so he's able to kind of stay around this back leg instead of getting forward, which pushes his body forward and pushes the swing forward. All right, so he's he's turning from here. Sorry, I keep doing that. He's turning as his front foot is about to land. And that allows him to stay back behind the ball. So if you think about right here when he's about to land, if we just draw a line kind of down through this back hip, when we're able to stay in that back leg, stay in that back hip, and turn from back there, it creates 
a deepness in our swing. So the, the bat starts to work around our body and enters the zone really early, way back here. You can see how much he stays, you know, I say behind the ball. I just mean this kind of angle right here allows us to get our bat again in the zone early. And it allows us to start to get the bat to work up through the ball. So if you stride forward, shift into your front leg, your body gets pushed forward. Now instead of having that good deep turn back here, when the weight gets really forward, guys end up, things start to turn kind of out here too far. So you're not in the zone early. You're not able to get the bat. Usually those guys are a little bit more down through the ball, a little steeper path. And so you're not able to get in the zone early. And you're not able to get the bat turned up. You know, if you look at his path right here, right there's a really good shot of it. It's working up through the hitting zone. So again, we're in the zone early. We stay for a long time. So now you've got this, you know, really big hitting window. Your timing doesn't have to be as perfect. But really, it gives us it gives us room to get that bat again to start to get up there. If we're down this way and we don't get into way out here, we don't have enough time to get the bat to work up through the, the hitting area. So he does a really, really good job of kind of staying right around here so he can turn everything deep. You can see when the bat launches... Again, it's not pushed down, it's not knobbed down to the ball. So as he starts to turn, you'll see this turn and the back go back together. So right there. Again, it's not turn and push the bat down. So that, that back arm starts to work under, the lead arm will start to work up. And the swing is getting launched this way, not that way. So the bat is, you know, body's turning. Bat's kind of coming around the body. Allows it, again, to get in the zone deep. To work with really good direction through the middle of the hitting zone. Right back through the hitting zone. And again, when you watch, it's everything to me... Not everything, but he's he's back behind the ball, right? He's he's turning deep. It's one of the things that you you know when you watch a lot of really really good high level major league hitters, you'll see that deep turn and that deep barrel path much more than you will you know younger hitters or less experienced hitters. This is super important right here. So just a couple of things again that stick out to me when I watch Springer hit. You know, I just love his swing. Really good athlete. Just if I could come back and be a player, I might be George Springer. <laughs> so again, let me know. Um, what you guys think about his swing? Um, if there's things, again, I didn't go over everything because we could probably spend a couple hours talking about this, but just some of the things that I really like, some of the things that stand out to me. Again, let me know what you guys see, um, if I left out important things, uh, or maybe you just see things completely differently than I do. I'd be interested to hear what you think. So. Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. We're throwing up videos every day for you guys. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. Um, all that good stuff. Check out the description box below. I've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out as well that I think you'll enjoy. And that is all I got. Thanks again guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will talk to you later.